Good day, YouTube. My name is Captain Darren, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a HF amplifier relay cable from the Sun SDR lineup to your amplifier. Stay tuned. Hello, guys. Welcome to my desktop. I'm going to show you where you connect your DB15 behind your transceiver and also the pin layout and which ones I utilize, the reference materials that I use to make my decisions where I'm going to solder the pins and also where I bought it from. First things first. All right, here's the radio itself. Behind the Sun SDR2, you have this external control. That is where you would connect the DB15. I'll, I'll leave that up here so you can take a look at that. Now, where I purchased mine particularly was from Amazon in the US. As you can see, this is the last data when I purchased, made that purchase. And it's right here and they got approximately nine left at the price of $11.77. This particular one has the, the points where you have to make that solder. So take a look there. All right, so that's the back of the DB15. And I'm gonna show you the pin layout and exactly show which ones that you're going to use. Here's the pin layout right here. It's simple. As if you're looking at the back, you got the pins one through five and six through 10 and then 11 through 15. I'm going to show you the schematic diagram on which ones to use. It's going to be pin 13. That's this one right here. And also pin 15. It's this one right here. Pin 15 is going to be used for the ground. That's your, your shield. And then your push to talk is actually this one right here. That's pin 13. So where do you go to get the, these, um, the information? You go to the EESDR website. All right, that's the homepage here. And we're going to go into support and user manuals. Let's take a look at that. The Sun SDR2DX transceiver. Under documentations, let's take a look at that. Here it is. You wanna click on the tab documentation. All right, to scroll down and here's some useful diagrams. The external control to the expert PA. I didn't use that one. I used this one here. The control to ACOM PAs. So you click on this one, it's gonna give you a schematic diagram. All right, I already have downloaded that. The other one that I'm using is, I think it's this one here, connecting an external PA. So you click on this and yeah, that's the one. So this is the con connection diagram for the Sun SDR2 Pro and the power amplifier. So I've already have those diagrams listed here. All right, here's the one that you connect the Sun SDR2 Pro to the power amplifier. Down at the bottom, let me see if I can, I don't know if I can move it. There it is. I can move it. I don't know if I can zoom in some. Move it down. All right. Down at the bottom, you see where it says Sun SDR2 Pro. This is your external uh, control. It's showing you here pin 13. Pin 13, you're going to solder pin, 30, pin 13 to the center conductor okay and then pin 15 is your actual shield and that's going to be connected to your power amplifier 
and what you're using is a, a regular phono plug. It's just like this, a regular phono plug. You see it? The center conductor is your push to talk and then the shield is your pin 15. So that's just one reference. My second reference here is the one that they use for the ACOM. Here's the Sun SDR2. This is the external control. You only need two pins, two pins that you're gonna solder. Again, pin 13 right here, push to talk PTT. That's gonna be the center pin. And also pin 15 is the ground. All this stuff here, don't worry about that. We just want to have, when you key on your microphone from your transceiver, that it sends a signal down to push to talk to the amplifier. It kicks on the uh, the amplifier, that's all. It senses that the push to talk, there's a, there's a signal, and it'll cut on the amplifier. Now let me show you the, I wanna actually zoom in on my, my project. I already have it completed. I just wanna make this video for you guys. Uh, to show you how easy it is and which pins to use. Remember this diagram here. Pin 13 is the push to talk. Pin 15 is the ground. This is a RCA phono plug. You see? So I, I had this um, spare laying around. So there's nothing for me to do on this end. So it's, it's so easy. What I did on the other end, it was like the same as this. I went ahead and clipped it off. I cut it. So I could solder those two pins onto the DB15. This here is the front of the DB15. That diagram I just showed you, the back of the DB15, it's here. The pin layout. Remember pin 15 is the bottom left. That's pin 15. That's connected to my shield. Pin 13, it's this one right here in the middle. Pin 13, that's connected to my center, the conductor. That sends the push to talk signal so that the amplifier can turn on or actually transmit. Got it? Now for the hard part, installing this DB15 into its in case. So you notice that there's a strain relief here and that goes into that groove here. Okay, that, that provides strain relief, so when you're pulling on this end, it doesn't pull the pins out. Okay. I'm going to put that in slightly so it's protruding on this end. Same for the other side. I'm gonna take this and put it, this piece here is gonna go in between this flat piece and the casing itself right here. I might cover the camera, but uh, I always struggle when I do this part. Okay. See how this one looks good? That's what I want. I gotta do the same for this end. All right. 
you have to do it this way so that this doesn't back out and you lose this piece. Okay, so squeeze these two together. I'm gonna put a nut there. Flip it over, screw. Good. Again, the nut. And on the bottom side. That's it, that's how it works. So you screw this end to the external control behind the Sun SDR and you can tighten it with the flat tip. You see how it has a flat tip on this side? So you connect it and then you just screw it into your Sun SDR just like this to tighten it out so it doesn't pull out, pull out. I forgot to mention, so this end, the DB15 goes to the back of your transceiver, the Sun SDR, and the phono plug goes to the back of your amplifier. And if you have the ACOM amplifier, you plug it to where it says key in, and for the Mercury 3S, for those that use that amplifier, it's the push to talk phono plug. So that's where you would connect it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. My name is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. I hope you found it productive and informative for you guys. And instead of buying the ready-made cable, perhaps you can just grab one of your old phono plugs and cut the ends off and just solder those two pins, pin 15 and pin 13, and you're all set to go. 73s, and have a great day. Until next videos, see you then.